Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today we're going to look at the books that I've bought in September. The vast majority are brand new books that are remainder books. What is a remainder book? Remainder books are copies publishers sell to retailers at a discounted price because demand for the book is well below the number of copies printed. Sometimes a publisher remainders a book to clear out inventory space. Retailers then sell the remaindered books at a discount price. Remaindered books usually have a black mark so they can't be returned or sold for the original full price. The mark is a dot or stripe across the top or bottom of the book on the outside of the pages. But I'd like to start off today with a gift from a viewer. I have an Amazon wish list in all the descriptions for my videos, and this book was selected from the list by the person who actually recommended it for me as well. What we're going to do today is instead of showing the books this way, I'm going to show it underneath this camera over here. This book is a gift from viewer Joe Brooks. You may remember an essay that I posted in our community pages from Joe. Flashback by Dan Simmons. Many people remember Dan Simmons from the Hyperion books. Flashback is copyright 2011 by Dan Simmons. Thank you, Joe. I know that he wants to know what I think of this book. My next book comes from World of Books. My friends in the UK sometimes have up and down experiences with World of Books. In this instance though, the book came as advertised. A.E. Van Vogt, Transfinite, The Essential A.E. Van Vogt. This is a Nesfa Press book, New England Science Fiction Association. Here you can see the contents. I appreciate the introductions and the afterword. That is some great cover art there too by Bob Eggleton. This next book is an example of a remainder. You can see a black Sharpie mark here at the top. Now I've already talked about this book a little bit. This and the ones that are coming after this come from bookoutlet.ca. If you're in the United States, that would be bookoutlet.com. This is the Elric Saga Volume 1. I've reviewed the very first story or novel in this book. That was Elric of Mel Nibonet. The book has a couple color pages with art from previous editions. Why did I want to show you this one? Because I just recently received once again from bookoutlet.com, the second volume. This again is a remainder. Both of these books were about $10 Canadian each from bookoutlet.ca. We have the same map again. And then we have these four books within here. And we have some interior art. There are also some color pages 
inside with some of the art from the book covers themselves. And rounding out the remainder hardcovers, I believe, yes, there we go. There's a remainder mark. This time it's a red dot. We have Upgrade by Blake Crouch. You may know him as the author of Recursion or Dark Matter. You are the next step in human evolution. I wonder if it's like Greg Bear's blood music. And the copyright for this one is 2022. On to the paperbacks. This one isn't a remainder. I just found it on sale. Slowly, I've been collecting what are known as the culture novels. And this seems to be the latest livery for Ian e M. Banks' books. Accession. And there we can see the livery for the culture novels as well as other science fiction by Ian e M. Banks. I think it's quite an attractive livery. Accession is copyright 1996. The next book is an omnibus. That means it's a collection of novels. Peter Watts, Firefall. The tagline that they use is first contact, last chance. Firefall, an omnibus edition of Blind Sight and Exopraxia. It's quite a thick tome. Clocking in at just under 800 pages. When I'm ordering remainders, there's free shipping for $50 or more. So I often fill it out with some novels that I haven't heard about, but I'd like to read. Adam Roberts is a great UK writer. By Pricking of Her Thumb, An Impossible Corpse, A Death Denied, and A Dangerous Connection. Be Dazzled by Roberts' Intelligence and Invention. Private investigator Alma is caught up in another impossible murder. One of the world's four richest people may be dead, but nobody is sure which one. This is a follow-up to her first case, The Real Town Murders. And there you see the cover for The Real Town Murders. Copyright for this book is 2018. And the last book, Who Will Inherit the Earth? Beyond the Burn Line by Paul McCauley. And this one is copyright 2022.
So there we have my September book haul. I don't think I mentioned that one of the reasons that I started looking at Michael Moorcock's Elric of Melnibone stories is that my friend Stephen E. Andrews of Outlaw Bookseller was planning to go to Paris to interview the author, Michael Moorcock. That video is now up. I'll put a link to it in the description to this video. So until next time, keep reading.